Hello guys, Gerudo here with another video. Today I want to talk about a pretty interesting topic. What is classic World of Warcraft? Is it the same as vanilla? And how about classic plus? What exactly does that mean? Where are the lines between what is plus and what is not? If you like this kind of content, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. It helps a ton. Let's start by looking at the word vanilla, which isn't just an ice cream flavor, but a player made term describing the original version of World of Warcraft, the basic game before any expansions, changes or additions. In other words, plain. Vanilla World of Warcraft servers are private servers, made by groups of individuals, or just a very dedicated person, where you can experience the original game, to a varying degree of success. They aren't licensed or supported by Blizzard at all, and are in fact technically illegal, as they infringe on their copyright and thus can be shut down if Blizzard takes legal action, which they have done so in the past. A good example here would be the late Nostalrius, which was hugely popular many years ago with many thousands of players, proving that there was indeed a demand for this kind of vanilla content. Blizzard took action, however, and shut them down. Years later, Blizzard finally saw the potential in this niche and decided to launch their own vanilla servers. They even mentioned this term in their announcement, but for the official name, they went with classic World of Warcraft. Since then, this term has also been used to describe private vanilla servers, but classic is actually Blizzard made. After their original classic Warcraft ran its course through the patches, they went on to TBC classic and even Wrath of the Lich King classic, which is currently still ongoing. It's not unreasonable to guess there will one day be a classic Cataclysm, classic Mists of Pandaria, and even classic Warlords of Draenor. For some hardcore vanilla enthusiasts, this probably sounds abhorrent, and to them, there's no way you can describe Mists of Pandaria as classic, and it's not hard to see their point. However, by the time Mists of Pandaria Classic would come out, it'd be nearly 15 years since its original release. Anyway, I think we could put a clear distinction here between the terms classic, which is everything Blizzard officially puts out from their own content, and vanilla which are private servers which offer the original World of Warcraft content before expansions. So far so good, and I don't think anyone can reasonably disagree with this. When we turn to the terms Classic Plus or Vanilla Plus, however, opinions quickly start to diverge, because it's hard to define what is plus and what isn't. Let's start with Classic Plus, which is probably the easiest term. This is everything Blizzard puts out regarding their classic content which goes beyond the normal classic version. The clear and only example of real classic plus content is thus Blizzard's Season of Mastery, which is based on the original game but with some additions. Of course, a point could be made that the original classic was already classic plus due to some changes they implemented, but let's not get into that. Season of Mastery is a 12 month content cycle on a fresh classic realm with several changes such as increased experience, the hardcore Iron Man challenge, looking for group tool, removal of the buff and debuff limit, world buffs don't work anymore in raids, and several other small changes to dungeons, raids and PvP. So while this technically counts as plus content, there isn't any real custom stuff, no new races or classes, no new zones or quests or anything of the like. It's just the same old stuff Blizzard has put out before, with some minor adjustments. This is pretty sad honestly, because they've got the potential to provide us with a really great Classic Plus experience. There are tons of unfinished zones and features that never made it into the live version of World of Warcraft all those years ago. And if they were to flesh them out and put them into the game, there is no doubt that players would absolutely love it. But it seems they've gone down the road of providing the bare minimum of content to keep players satisfied, relying more on putting out already made content such as TBC, Red of the Lich King and, probably, Cataclysm and beyond. Anyway, moving on to Vanilla Plus, which is a much broader and vaguer term. There are some absolutely creative World of Warcraft realms out there who take the basic game and add tons of custom stuff. A good example of this would be the currently very popular Turtle WoW, which takes the basic version of World of Warcraft and adds things like the High Elf and Goblin races, a real hardcore challenge, new zones, a new dungeon, race and class combinations, and so on. It sticks to a vanilla client and just builds on that. I think most people would agree that Turtle WoW counts as true vanilla plus, 
And there are a few other great realms out there which do or did a similar thing. But now the inevitable question pops up, how much can you customize the basic vanilla game before it doesn't count anymore? When does it cease to be real vanilla and goes on to something else? If you add a few new races, some quality of life changes and additions to the talent trees, and add a few more zones and dungeons in, say, Outland, isn't that just TBC? Is that still vanilla plus? I'd say probably not, and most of you would say the same. But how is adding TBC content different from the additions Turtle Wow, for example, has put in? Sure, the level cap increases, but what if a vanilla plus realm added all the TBC content but kept the level cap at 60? Does that count? What if it's a TBC client but level capped at 60 and no outland? How about Duskhaven? I've previously made a video about this realm where I called it one of, if not the, best classic plus realms. Obviously my terminology was wrong, and I should have said vanilla plus, as it isn't licensed by Blizzard, but many people still objected and said it isn't true vanilla because it uses a rat of the Lich King core. While that may be the case, it does restrict the level cap to 60 and doesn't add new zones such as Outland or Northrend. It does improve the talent trees, add new skills, glyphs, race class combinations, quests, and new custom-made classes such as the Monk, Shaman Tanks, Demon Hunters, Tinkers, and soon the Bard. Content-wise, it stays true to the original game, starting with Molten Core and Onyxia, and then progressing through Blackwing Lair, AQ, and Nax. However, it does also add several new raids, such as Ashara Crater and the Emerald Dream, and has plans for Karazhan Crypt and an Upper Reaches raid. These additions were things that Blizzard had originally planned to put in the game, but didn't for various reasons. Is this Vanilla Plus? I think a fair case can be made that it most definitely is, even though it's based on a rat core, which is essentially just a bunch of quality of life improvements going further than other realms which are based on a vanilla core. But I can also see the point of view of people who say that it isn't, because it's changed too much from the way the original game felt. Anyway, I don't think there's a real answer here to the question of what is true Vanilla Plus and what isn't. Everyone will have their opinion and preference, and at the end of the day, does it matter? If you want a more authentic Vanilla experience, play on realms such as Turtle Wow or even Blizzard's classic era servers. If you prefer some more quality of life changes in a game which feels more streamlined, or just want more custom and new stuff, there are plenty of options for you too, such as Project Ascension or Duskhaven. And of course, there's no reason for you to restrict yourself to playing on just one realm. I certainly don't. I'm curious to hear about your thoughts. What do you think counts as true Vanilla Plus content, and what doesn't? What would you like to see if Blizzard were to ever do Classic Plus right? Do you care? Or do you just want to play whatever is fun? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. See you in the next video.